So I can remember one night when we were all camping and we got a phone call and Taylor said her foot went through the floor in their bedroom of one of their campers. This is near and dear to our hearts to make sure that this floor is taken care of. So today's project, we are going to weatherize the camper floor. So you might ask, why isn't there a floor right now? Well, that's because one of the very important things that you need to do when you have a cargo camper or any kind of camper for that matter, is you need to make sure that the floor is weatherized. So one thing that can happen with your cargo trailer camper, if you don't weatherize the bottom of it, is you're driving along all that water, comes up on the, the wood and can't, you run the risk of that getting rotten. Not only that, you also have to deal with when you're, let's say on the outer banks, the salt, all that stuff. So it's really important if you want to keep the rust away and any kind of stuff from rotting away to weatherize the bottom. Uh, can you guys relate to rotting floor? Oh, can we relate? Every single camper ever so out of the out of the two we've had so far. Well, the R-Pod, our most recent camper, Lily, rest in peace, <laughs> she uh, already had a little bit of water damage when we first got her, but we didn't really worry about it that much. We just kept on doing our thing until it got worse and worse and worse, and then we had to end up replacing about half of the floor. So we are super adamant that it's not going to happen again. So we have done everything that we need to do to make sure that this floor is super sturdy and safe and weatherproof. So for project instructions, links to products that we use in this video, step-by-step -step things and more, make sure you visit our website at www.befreebenson.com. And just in case you forget, there will be a link in the description below with the website. So let's get at it. The flooring in here should be pretty easy to take out because it looks like it's just screwed down. So we shall see if it's as easy as it looks. Okay, so what we've got here now is what we call an open concept. It provides air conditioning. Let's the air come through. But no, it, we, we got all these out, so we're making sure we know which orientation they were and uh, marking all that right now so that we can put them back in the order we took them out. The next step in weatherizing the flooring is to go ahead and paint the boards with Flex Seal before we put them back in. The Flex Seal is very easy to use and it creates a very nice thick rubber coating across the entire bottom of the camper, which really protects it from the elements. Okay, so it's time for us to put the flooring in. So we're gonna cut the um, styrofoam that we need to put in on the flooring. But the way the, the styrofoam is gonna connect, we're gonna actually screw it with grip caps from the bottom into the bottom of the plywood so that it will stay secure underneath. We needed to cut for the nose cone here on the, on the plywood. So what we did is we laid some uh, cardboard in, in the nose cone and kind of laid it out and taped it and, uh, and then traced it up here. And then we're going to also cut the next strip, which is 22 and three quarters. So we're basically, uh, right now what we're using is the razor knife. We're scoring it down through and then we're gonna pop it. Once we have this piece off, then we'll cut out the nose cone. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. Okay. The outside only gives you extra, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, like a freaking glove. That's pretty smooth right there. Can't get much better than that. No, that's like free. Wow. That's perfection right there, baby. Perfection, I tell you. Okay, that's snug in my hand. All right, so we've got our first two pieces of insulation in in the front. Now we're going to put the nose piece that has been prepared with Flex Seal. So it, that thing is like a piece of rubber now. It's pretty awesome. So we're gonna place that over top and screw that back in. All right, room for two. Right. You wedge your, you yeah. wedge your just down in or yep. wedge
And I think that's all she gave on the cock. Oh, yeah, no. That's the last piece of the floor insulation. So now we just have one more piece of the plywood flooring to set in here and screw down and then we'll be done. So here we go. We've got a floor now. Uh, wasn't actually nearly as hard as we thought. Uh, the only thing pending is crawling up underneath and screwing the insulation up into the plywood. All right, so what we're doing is we're securing the insulation up here with grip cap screws, and we're putting about eight of them in each board. All right, it's looking good. We, uh, we got the walls, all right, excuse me. We got the floor in, we got the insulation in, we got it secured up underneath, so uh, everything is in good shape there. Won't have to worry about any floors rotting. Doing things yourself, stepping outside the box, not being afraid to try things new, allows you to be free. For more how-to videos like this, you can visit our channel and click on any one of the playlists. We also have playlists with many more projects from our cargo campers. Also, you can visit our website at www.befreebenson.com. See you in the next video.